This is my final week here at ABC 10 News, and after almost 16 years, the one thing I've enjoyed most is sharing your stories. The impact of the people that I've met over the years has shaped my career and my life. People like Bob Maupin. I met him 16 years ago when I first arrived at 10 News and did several follow-up stories about his life on the border. He built an enormous fence complete with razor wire to prevent illegal migrants from crossing through his land. Years later, he added that bulletproof vest and AR-15 if he ever crossed paths with drug smugglers. You wear this every day? Every you, day I come by the border, I wear this. And you check your fence every day? I check my fence every and day. So this is the outfit every day? This is the outfit. Bob and I didn't always see eye to eye about immigration or politics, but I sympathized with his plight and desire to protect his wife, Jeanette. And he understood my job and how I reported the news. The point is, we respected each other and talked often. And I feel as if I lost a friend when Bob passed away in January of 2020. With me on every visit to see Bob and just about every other story I did on the border was my former co-worker and photographer Michael Gonzalez Mora. We were hired together at 10 News in 2006 for a show called 10 for San Diego. We have been in drug tunnels together, locations south of the border with better views and more light, and in the Tijuana River Ravine, where people so desperate to get into the United States lived in shanties. We had the opportunity to witness the personal struggles from those on both sides of the border. I was going through my hard drives. <laughs> Nobody found. <laughs> that is old school 10 San Diego. Wow. <laughs> That's a mic flag that hasn't been around in 16 years. Thanks to 10 San Diego. Not only I learned to speak better English, but to be more proficient on my career. And again, all the team that we work with, you being one of them, um, at the beginning with the lack of uh, language barrier that I had, somehow I make it through. Michael is part of a large accomplished team. I was privileged to work with so many talented people on the other side of the camera who you will never see. But without their creative eyes, their gift for storytelling through a lens and their guidance, I'm not the person I am today. I will always be grateful for all those behind the scenes at ABC 10 News who helped to shape me professionally and personally. And I think you will agree, we work with the finest people, many, many that you will never see, but great, great people who shape our careers every oh day. Oh gosh, makes this place what it is. And yeah. yeah, it's so nice to get to see them in front of the camera sometimes because yeah. you don't know best all of the, the stuff best. they do. Mm -hmm. <laughs>